I've been questioned a lot lately by women relative to how to find a good man. I've, I've even been approached by uh, daughters in the ministry and even friends who've asked me, please find me a good man. And these many times are women who are extremely eligible. I'm talking about beautiful women. I'm talking about women who are educated, women who are working, women who really have a lot of things going for themselves, but yet they find it difficult to connect with a man that matches their profile. And I have to admit that many times I pull away from those experiences where I'm asked this, and I, I begin to go through my mental Rolodex to think of men that I know, and it's difficult many times to pair certain men with these kinds of women. Because many times the brother is falling short in a lot of the character issues that women are really looking for. Sometimes he's good looking, he's Christian, he, lo he loves God and all of that kind of stuff. And he's a nice guy, but he's falling short of the things that really would make a man attractive to a, a high quality woman. And some of those things I just want to share uh, with, with the brothers that might be interested in listening. This is just my opinion. Uh, number one, uh, women are attracted to uh, men that have an opinion. The worst thing a man can do is say to a woman, I don't know, uh, whatever you say, something as simple as what restaurant we're going to eat at. If you're if you're going out with a woman for a first date, the worst thing you can do is not have your personal mind made up relative to where you want to bring her to eat. Women are attracted to men who will make decisions, but at the same time are not intimidated by a woman who has the strength to make decisions as well. The woman doesn't mind driving, she just doesn't want to be the main pilot. Uh, the second thing I find that women are attracted to is they are attracted to men with vision. In other words, you have to know who you are, you have to know where you're going, and you have to have a plan relative to how you're gonna get there. You can't just be a guy that has all of these dreams and no plans. Women are attracted to men who say, okay, this is who I am, this is where I am, this is where I'm going, and this is my plan to get there. Because you know, when you look at Adam and Eve in the garden, God made the woman to help the man. Well, if the man does not have a plan, the woman has no purpose. Only a man with a plan needs a woman. If you don't have a plan to go somewhere, you can stay there by yourself. If you're going somewhere, it's then that women are attracted to you because women are programmed to help us to rise to our greatest selves. The third thing I find that women are attracted to is they're attracted to men with conviction. You, you have to have a position that you don't vacillate from. You have to have something that you stand for that even she, your woman, can't talk you out of. When you lack conviction, the woman leaves away from that experience saying to her friends, he's a nice guy, but he doesn't have any backbone. And a woman will work night and day to talk you out of what you believe in. And when you shift from what you believe in, she'll hate you for shifting because a woman needs a man that has a strong conviction and will stand by it. The fourth thing that uh, women are attracted to is that women are attracted to men who have a sense of humor. <laughs> you know, a woman will fall in love with an ugly guy if he can make her laugh. If, if, if you're sticking the mud and you never have a, a humorous moment, you can't laugh at yourself or you find nothing, you know, um, to smile about, uh, it doesn't matter what your job is, how much money you make, that woman is not going to be attracted to you long. You got to be able to make that woman laugh, man. And then finally, you got to be a man that empowers her. In other words, you have to make her better. If you're, if you're just along for the ride, at some point, she's going to get tired. Women are attracted and they stay attracted to the men or to the man that will make her better. Can you improve this woman's life in any way? If you can improve her, you can attract her and you can keep her. These are just my thoughts.